हेलो गाइस डू यू नो यू कैन मेजर योर हार्ट बीट यूजिंग पल्स सेंसर ओके कम विद मी आई विल टेल यू हाउ यू कैन दिस इज भूपेंद्र सिंह एंड यू आर वाचिंग आवर यूट्यूब चैनल एस एन इन सो टू डिजाइन दिस प्रोजेक्ट यू नीड अ पल्स सेंसर आडिनो उनो नोड एम सी यू ई एस पी एट टू सिक्स सिक्स एंड फ्यू जम्पर वायर्स As you can see, pulse sensor has three pins. First one from the right is ground, middle one is VCC, and the last one is data pin. As you can see, I have a customized IoT board that have built-in Arduino Uno with SMD firmware as well as ESP8266 or we can say Node MCU in the same board. This board is designed by Nati Engineer Company. You can also contact them. for your product or board customization as you know that analog pin that is available in the node mcu esp8266 is not too accurate and our pulse sensor provide analog output and need accuracy so what we need to do is to read the sensor in arduino uno board and then we serially send that value to the node mcu okay and node mcu will send the pulse value to the blank iot server so we are working here in master and slave mode where arduino uno is play a role of slave and esp8266 will play a role of master board all the data will move from slave to master so this is the best method to map the better pulse value from the sensor so connect the ground and vcc pin of the pulse sensor to the ground and 5 volt pin of arduino board now connect the data pin of the pulse sensor to the a0 pin of arduino board okay you can also add the led to 30 number pin of arduino for indication you can also take reference from the circuit diagram so once you done connection of pulse sensor then go to the video description to download the program click on the given link and you will redirect to my github code repository and guys please follow me on github for the update of latest programming code thanks in advance for this now here click on the code button and then click on download it once downloaded go to the download location Here you can see the zip folder with the name Heartbeat Monitoring with Blank 2.0 Master. Right click on the zip folder and click on the extract here. You will get the extracted folder. And guys, if you don't have WinRAR or WinZip software, then link is available in the video description. You can download it from there. Go inside the folder and here you got the two folders with circuit diagram. The folder BMP Monitoring TX folder is the program folder that we need to upload to the Arduino and Notify ESP8266 RX folder is the program folder that we need to upload in the Node MCU ESP8266. So first, go inside the BPM Monitoring TX folder and open the programming file with Arduino IDE. So this is the program. top of the program we include the software serial header file and define the sme serial variable we have taken 6 and 7 number of pins as serial receiver and transmitter so that we can transmit the pulse data to node mcu from these serial pins okay we are using arduino interrupt in the program for pulse sensor so we define the arduino interrupt true here and below we include the pulse sensor playground header library for this we need to add pulse sensor library so connect your computer to the internet first then go to the sketch tab below click on the include library and then manage libraries it is downloading the list of all available library for arduino here search for pulse sensor in search bar you will see the library pulse sensor background right so you will get the install button here click to install button to install it after installation click on the close button and back to the program 
below we define pulse wire variable to A0 as a constant integer, an indicator LED to 13 and threshold to 550. Threshold is playing the vital role for here as we ignore the value below this. Okay. Below we define the pulse sensor variable. Now in the setup function, we serially begin the default serial and SME serial both at 9600 border. Also remember that we need to access the pulse data at the same speed at the node MC. Okay. Below we define the pulse wire as an analog read. LED 13 as blink on pulse and threshold as set threshold for pulse sensor. Below we begin the pulse sensor. If pulse sensor connected to the board properly, then we go the message serially. We created a pulse sensor object, otherwise not. Now in the loop function, we store the pulse value in my BPM variable using pulse sensor dot get beats per minute function. If the sensor sends the beat, then we serially print the message with heartbeat happened with BPM value. At the same time, we serially transmit the BPM value to the node MC. Note it guys, we create a data packet to send the data to node MC. We create header and tailor to recognize the packet at the node MCU side. Here slash R is a header and slash N is tailor. And we send the my BPM value followed by OR symbol. We identify the pulse value using this OR symbol at node MCU side, right? So don't try to change it, otherwise you will not get the proper value at node MCU end. We also print this to serial monitor. So guys, this is the complete program to measure the BPM at Arduino. So now, connect your Arduino board to the computer and go to the tools and select the board as Arduino Genuino Uno. Now select the port as COM5. Then click to upload button. After a while, program has been uploaded to the board. Let's open the serial monitor so that we can check whether sensor is connected to the board properly or not. As you can see, we got the message we created pulse sensor object. That means sensor is connected accurately. Now we create the project template in new Blink website. So go to the blink.cloud website. Link is also available in the video description for this. So login to the website and you will see the option to create your first template. So click on the new template. Write your project name here. Select the board here as ESP8266. We are using connection type as Wi-Fi. Write your project description and then click on the done. We have created our project template. You can see here the project template and device name. We need to write it in our Arduino code, right? Now we directly go to the data store. And guys, if you want to know each and everything in details about the blank IoT, then watch our other videos. Link is available in the video description. Okay. So in the data stream tab, we create virtual pin for the pulse sensor. Click on the new data stream and then virtual pin. Write the name of virtual pin as BPM, pin as V0, data type as integer and set the max value to 200. Now go to the web dashboard. Here we drag and drop the widget for our pulse value. So pick and drop label and goes to the dashboard. We will display the pulse data to both widgets. So hover the mouse to the label widgets and click on the setting icon. In the property, choose the data stream as BPM V0 and click on save. Now click on the setting icon on the goals widget. In the property, choose data stream as BPM V0 and then save. Now click on the save button. So this is how we can create the project in new Blink server. So now time to program the NodeMCU ESP8066 board. So go to the download folder where we have downloaded the code. Inside the master folder, open the folder with name 
Netify ESP8266 RX. Here open the program file with Arduino ID. Guys, please don't copy and paste this code because it requires all the header files that is available in the folder. Otherwise, you will get the error on compiling. So, in the program, we have included software serial header in the top and defined D6 and D7 pin as a receiver and transmitter for SME serial. Here, we need to change the template ID and device name of our blank program. Here, we define the blank firmware version, then blank serial. After it, we define the debug and the node MCU board. In the setup function, we begin the serial as well as SME serial at 9600 board rate. The same board rate as we define at our Arduino site. And this is must, so that we receive the data with the same speed. After it, we begin the blank agent.begin function. By this function, we will connect our board to the Wi-Fi as well as blank server using blank IOTL. In the loop function, we call the blank agent.run function. And below, we call the sensor function. We define sensor function below in which we read the value from the Arduino. In the sensor function, we read the availability of the data from the Arduino side. Guys, note it that when data is available at the SME serial port, then the UBRR register status set to 0. That means we can receive the data. And when the data is not available, then UBRR byte set to 1. So we read the SME serial UBRR bit availability. And if it is less than 1 or we can say 0, then we read and store the SME serial data to R character variable. Till we didn't receive the slash R, we store the value of receiving packet to BPM integer type variable using SME serial dot parsent function. Now we serially print the pulse sensor value. At the same time, we will send the value to V0 virtual pin using blank dot virtual write command every second. So this is the complete program we need to upload in Node MCO. Now go to the project template in blank website. In the info tab, we copy these firmware configuration credentials from here and replace it here in the program. Right? And remember guys, you need to install the Node MCU board in your Arduino ID. So link is available in the video description that will guide you how you can install it in Arduino ID. Okay, connect the node MCU to your computer and go to the tools, click on the board and then scroll below and select the board as node MCU 1.0 ESP12E module. After it, select the port and then click on the upload button. You can see program has been uploaded to the node MCU. So after uploading the program, open the serial monitor. Press the RST button that is available in the node MCU board. So you will see the blink symbol like this in your serial monitor. Means our node MCU board is ready to connect. Now time to download and configure the new blink 2.0 IoT mobile app. So turn on your mobile data and Wi-Fi. Download the Blink IoT app from the App Store or Play Store. Open the Blink app and log into it. Now click on Add New Device. Here we choose Connect to Wi-Fi option. And click on the Start button. Once you click on the Start button, it will start to search for Wi-Fi that starts from Blink followed by your project name. Click to join. After it, choose the Wi-Fi in which you want to connect your Node MCU board. Write the password of your Wi-Fi and then click on Continue. As you can see, Node MCU has been connected to the Wi-Fi network. Now click on the Finish button. So this is how you can connect your Node MCU board to the Wi-Fi. If you are getting an error while connecting your board to the Wi-Fi, then link is available in the video description to fix 
all the problems relate to blank IO. As I am using iPhone, so there is slight changes in the options as per the Android phone. In the Android phone, go to the developer mode and then click on the project template. Okay. Now in the project template, click on the setting icon. Then click on plus sign to add the widget. Scroll below and select the value display widget. Also add goals widget to the template. Click on the value display widgets and choose the data stream as BPM V0 and back to the dashboard. Click on the goals widget. Choose the data stream BPM V0 and back to the dashboard. So this is how our dashboard look alike. Now time to the live testing of pulse sensor. So power on your board. It will take 15 to 20 seconds to connect your board to the Wi-Fi. Once connected to the Wi-Fi, you will see the light of your Node MCU board like this. This is the indication of the successful connection of the board to Wi-Fi. Now place the finger to the pulse sensor. Guys, don't place finger too light or too hard in the sensor. Once I place the finger on the sensor, you can see the LED that we use as an indicator. Blink means sensor sense the pulse. Let's see the value in blink gap. We got the pulse value or you can say heartbeat in the blink gap. But you need to remember guys, pulse sensor is based on photovoltaic. So direct light can affect it and can provide you the garbage data. So be careful. It is better if you can hide it from the light and can cover it from the backside or can make arrangement like this. Right? Again, we place the finger in the sensor. That's great. You can see the value in the app as well as in the Blank website. So this is how you can interface the pulse sensor with Blank IoT app and server. If you have any query or suggestions, write it in the comment box below. And thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and videos. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the latest update of our videos. All the material related to the video available in the video description. Till the next video, stay connected with us at our social platforms. Good day.